50 CS2 tricks by the pros where I show meta plays, new utility tactics, and more. Make sure to watch until the end so you can have a huge brain by learning all these pro tricks. Kiserato is gonna go for an aggressive mid peak and he's gonna throw this smoke that lands below that small step there and that's intended to put out the CT's deep Molotov if they go ahead and try to do the double Molotov for the mid control which allows Kiserato to get cover to push out where you can see it's super hard to spot him behind the flames. You could also have a teammate throw the same smoke for you as we see G2 do here and Hunter is going to edge around the smoke and he doesn't take any damage from the Molotov because of the bug. G2 run the same play but with Monacy going for the pick and then Nexa throwing the smoke hover. Nexa does throw the smoke kind of late as you can see there but Monacy still gets the opener. Edging has gotten out of control. I don't know if even the Sight Molotov is even beneficial to the T's anymore as we see Twist abuse this feature. In my last video, I showed Device throwing the instant mid smoke to put out the CT's Molotov to allow his teammate to come out mid. Here we see the same smoke being used and you're going to see that Stair is going to be able to creep out behind the cover of the smoke and get two entry frags. The smoke gives him very good cover to go ahead and lurk out. I want to thank today's sponsor which is Skins Monkey. They are one of the best and easy to use CS2 trading sites. You can instantly switch out your skins you don't want by selecting them and then pick up the new skins you do want that are so much nicer. You can also buy skins much cheaper with a 35% total deposit bonus using code NART and don't forget the freebie section where you can get free skins. Make sure to use the link in the description and code NART for all the extra bonuses. The fast cave ball top is starting to be used by tier 1 teams such as G2 as well as Team Liquid. The CT does push through it and does get flash however Hooksy was not able to capitalize. A lot of pro teams on their anti ecos are using this Molotov here that Hooksy showed off at the Major which is going to be intended to go ahead and cover towards boost. Vexite shows a new lineup to go ahead and throw the B pressure lurk smoke, aim at that line, then go ahead and W jump throw. You can pair this up with the standard B pillar cave Molotov and here you're going to see FlyQuest send one player through the smoke. Dexter smokes top banana, stand in front of the rock, aim as shown, walk forward before you reach the bridge, go ahead and jump throw. The smoke gives cover for your teammate to go ahead and lurk through as we see Vexite do to the top banana and then he's going to get flashed out. In a later round, FlyQuest throw the same smoke and do the same play, except this time around, you're going to see that Vexai is actually going to go through the smoke very fast, and he's going to get a nice 3k entry. Twist shows an A lurk smoke position with this rock. You're going to be standing, aim at this part of the tree, then go ahead and jump throw. The smoke is going to land here next to the left side of the boost and next to the big box, and we're going to see that they're going to pair it up with the anti-boost Molotov here to come out to go ahead and lurk and try to boost themselves. In my last video, I showed Monzi using this jump spot on top of the box where you can see through the top of the gap of the right door to see if any CTs are pushing down Banana, which Twist does spot which gives the Kinder the clue to go ahead and watch Banana. Heroic actually cancels the Banana push and Twist has this utility set here where he is to the right of the door. You can see he didn't throw the Molotov for the short smoke. You're going to align with these two points where the buildings meet, then left click throw, then for the B long Molotov, aim above the 9 here, then go ahead and jump throw. And what's interesting about this Molotov is that it will cover and spread both of these B long cubbies. As for the jump spot, if you're a CT towards B and top banana, you are not going to be able to see through that gap on the opposite side. Flit throws new B entry flashes for the pillar, stand in the right of the door, aim middle of the B, then W jump throw, your teammates coming up banana aren't going to be blind because the flashes land behind the pillar. Naf throws the deep A donut smoke from outside B, stand on top of the box, aim as shown, then W jump throw. You usually see this smoke being thrown from outside A main, however we see Liquid have Naf throw this smoke after he throws his B utility presence nades. Twist smokes fast a donut position with this vine, then you're going to aim at the top there and then run forward before you reach the top of the wall, go ahead and jump throw. Liquid uses this smoke to rush A. I seen Kadian throw this really easy lineup for the window smoke, go ahead and crouch with this vine. You're going to aim at this leaf here, while crouch still, go ahead and pressure run throw bind or W jump throw. Fear are retaking the A site and falling from CT from this back wall is going to throw a Molotov for a big box that forces G out of position. 
In a later round, Fallen is going to show a donut retake smoke. Go ahead and position with that line in the wall. Aim as shown, then left and right click jump throw. The best A retake nades come from Tessis from this very back right corner. A main smoke, W jump throw, then for the boost Molotov, aim here. Then you're going to run forward and jump throw. If you want to dominate mid control as CTs, throw these flashes from Kaden. These flashes will land towards the left side here and they're going to blind any T's that decide to rush out mid and we see Hooksy get perma blind and stands no chance. Rob starts towards heaven at the start of the round, breaks open the door, gets on top of the rail, then jump spots connector here. He is going to spot the T's and attempts to wall bang them afterwards. One way to shut down the fast connector play and push is to instantly boost, break open the door, which we see Robs is going to get that easy frag. So he shows us a very easy smoke lineup to throw the A pressure lurk smoke. And with any A pressure lurk smoke, you have to be careful of the CTs playing around the smoke towards the right of it here. So Mouse knows that and they're going to throw the perfect flashes to entry in. Hooksy throws a bank smoke, stand to the right of the wall, put the pin of the smoke top right of the sign, then left click throw. Hooksy is going to crouch behind the bench and throws the most common A stair smoke with a jump throw, but he's going to pair it up with the same lineup for the Molotov where you main crouch, aim at the same part, then jump throw. Now this Molotov does not cover all of truck. Monacy from the stairs outside monster is going to throw two nades. First he's going to smoke off heaven, then he's going to Molotov off barrels. Mozzie coming out monster from the wood wall is going to Molotov off pit. Then he's going to use the same lineup for a flash that bounces back into pit as well. If you default towards B, you need to use this lineup to be very efficient. So you're going to see that Norbert from one position is able to smoke off short pipe as well as Molotov off short. Jame and Fame with a nice teamwork play here. Jame from all the way towards the fountain stairs is going to flash the boost here for Fame to go ahead and peek over. Right after getting those frags, we're going to see Jame throw a A nade set, which consists of an A stair smoke and dice Molotov. Mir has a set lineup to monster flash when monster is smoked off. You see he stands behind the barrel, aim at this part of the fence without moving his mouse, gets in front of the barrel next to the fence, then left click throw. Hooksy makes a solo play, stand in front of the ladder, aim here, then W jump throw. This is the monster lurk smoke. Usually you have a teammate throwing this smoke for you in the pro play scene. However, Hooksy throws it himself. The smoke is going to give him full cover from sight, allows him to lurk out here, catches the timing when the CT is reloading. Norbert shows another way to throw the monster lurk smoke, stand in front of the trash can, aim here at this part of the bridge, then jump throw. The smoke lands inside of this wall, extends down, giving you full cover to come out and lurk out if need be. Champion from this back wall below the A stairs is going to throw a smoke that lands towards the banana divider sandwich area. The smoke will help delay the T's progression towards A. Exertion Molotov short pipe with this lineup that lands much deeper than the one that you would throw on the fly. Water retake nades from one position. Look for this mark. Stand up. You're going to throw a short Molotov, then two flashes. Your teammate are going to come out connector. Now, the thing about this flash is if any CTs are playing inside this cubby, it's not going to reach them. Before peeking A, Kaze is going to jump spot to see if anybody's holding, but at the moment he peeks, the offer's peeking. Fallen shows off his signature move on Mirage where he drops down from the platform with an AWP. Anyone holding from this right side is not going to be able to spot him. Smoke top van from inside apartment. Stand in this corner. You're going to aim bottom right of this window, then jump throw. The smoke is going to land on top of the van, extends down, covering any CTs playing under van as well as any AWPers trying to peek on top of van or even the ledge angle. When you're playing short, you need to use this angle and ledge and you can hold the bench boost here as you'll see the T's get up there before they can spot you. Kiksan's gonna jump spot Epps and he's going to make contact and then he's gonna throw the defensive smoke. But instead of going towards the bench and sight side, he's going to fake out the T's by going towards Van. Kisrato is going to Molotov F Shadow with this lineup when Palace is smoked out and this Molotov will cover only the bottom. Device is going to go for an aggro peak door and he's going to smoke out the top hot Molotov, jumps down and then he's going to peek right into door. This is a common pro play that operas are using, Henny, Monacy and many others. Stown takes advantage of the spread of the main smoke and we see that he's going to sneak towards the right of the smoke. This play is starting to become a lot more common since I showed it in the last video, so be on the lookout. 
The same thing with the door lurk smoke, I've also seen Kerrigan lurk around it to the right of the smoke to sneak around main. Kiksan's gonna push hut, and he's gonna throw HG nade inside the hut as he does so. So the purpose of the HG nade here can match your footsteps, however the T was super close as you can see. One thing that I noticed that if the T is small top top hut, you want to throw the smoke towards the hut entrance doorway because the smoke will actually go ahead and extend down and can make it hard for the T's to come out. Here's another good clip of the same smoke being used, this time from Cello. He's going to smoke behind him towards the hut door entrance. You can see the smoke extends down, blocking off any T's and making it hard for them to entry out. Next time you're in Eco, invest in a Zeus and go above the hut, which is going to land you an easy frag. We're going to see Hunter use the same position on the top hut at the edge as the top hut Molotov is not going to reach him. T's coming out might not expect him to be up there because of the Molotov. I don't know if this Molotov is intended or not, or if Brolin just missed the top hut Molotov, but you see the Molotov lands Nitro. They paired up with a main Molotov and Kerrigan has to run through. CT upper players hate it when the T's throw this nade set here, which consists of the door lurk smoke, then Frozen's going to go up the ladder where he Molotov's top hut. This combo will allow Rops if he wanted to lurk outdoor and sneak down vent. One meta smoke that pro teams are using recently is the nuke instant door lurk smoke. The smoke is going to land and bloom before the T's can even come outdoor, giving them full cover to sneak down vent or to even pop through and rush upper through that smoke. FaZe have been using this smoke a lot. When they take ramp and they want to go down lower, you're going to often see Brokey throw smoke off the wall. This smoke lands right here and allows him to safely plant, giving him cover. Next time you're playing boost on ramp, make sure you check out this gap and angle that you could hold to spot any T's. After throwing the outside smoke that lands near main, you're going to see Rain is going to throw this Molotov for T red. And what's interesting about this Molotov is that it covers multiple angles and positions. So it will cover Glaive behind red and even towards the left of red. In the older videos, I showed the CT wall banging unbreakable with an op. Here we see the T's do so. A lot of pro players that play main will hide in this position because you can see the shadow of the player dropping. If you're the outside player, make sure you have one of your teammates drop an HE nade, which we see Nico throw one behind unbreakable. Then he's going to go pick up the other one. He's going to be jump spotting credit card as well as jiggle peeking it. These two extra nades are going to be super helpful in disrupting the outside smoke wall. So the first one does not work out as the T waits out and then you're going to see the second one catches them. If you don't have an extra nade, that's okay. Go ahead and call for your main player to go ahead and break open the smoke and then you can go ahead and follow it up with a second nade. Again, here comes the smoke wall. Nico's going to break the smoke, doesn't see anybody. Then he has, he has Nexa towards Secret, where he's going to throw the Molotov in front of Secret here, where Nexa can go ahead and peek behind the cover of the Molotov, which makes it super hard to spot Nexa. This was a very common pro play back in CSGO. Buddha is in a 1v2, and he's going to get the Diffuser. Then he's going to jump over, and he's just going to throw this very easy Molotov that he has to go ahead and delay the defuse off the door. It only works if you plant in this position as you can see. Frozen is going to make good use of the door here, gets the first frag, instantly closes the door, then instantly pops it open. Ashaws have a two player nade stack for top silo upper and they have a nice little present for Kerrigan. The player with the better spawn should mount off top hut and by doing so hopefully that prevents the CT from jumping top hut and forcing them to stay on top silo take flight with a boost behind the T-Red at the door at the start of the round. Polo from the upper site with an op is going to hit this nasty wall bang through the ground here to stop the planter. Donk from the back of quad has a flash lineup that he's going to throw when the T's make their way upstairs. That is going to blind any T's that are going to try to entry up, which is going to help set him up to peek after. Torzi has a set flash lineup here where he's going to position with that part of defense, has that lineup for the crane, makes his way over here, crouches left click throw. The flashes, as you can see, lands behind the wall, so his teammates pushing down ramp are not going to get blind. Nico and everybody inside A main here gets super flashed. Rob's from inside ladder is going to smoke a site, stand next to the E box, aim at this red thing here, then left click throw. This smoke is going to fully cover both sides, leaving no gaps. Zivu holding mid with the op, make sure no one's pushing. Then he's going to set up to throw a Molotov as well as a HE nade with the same lineup. And they're going to pair up with another Molotov to retake stairs control. 
Vitaly throws the bottom ramp smoke and you're going to see that Apex sneaks into the T's upper ramp smoke, finds a timing where there's a gap between the two smokes to back sap the T's. FaZe is also going to rush ramp to A and they're going to instead throw this smoke from Rops that lands sandbags then he's going to make his way top stairs where he flashes top ramp. Rops at the start round is going to throw this crane smoke that we've seen the tier 3 teams are throwing. This is the first time I've seen a tier 1 team throwing this smoke. This smoke prevents the CTs from peeking crane towards the bottom of yellow gap or even towards ramp and it also acts as a top ramp smoke. So your teammates can go ahead and creep around the smoke as we see the gap left by the smoke. Vitality are going to use the most common B boost setting up Zaiwu with the saved M4. Nico smokes headshot from ramp. Go ahead and stand with the gap here. Then you're gonna put your crosser like this. Left and right click jump throw. Pair the smoke up with the left side smoke and then the CTs will not be able to jump up top. Sphinx is going to smoke right generator from the T stairs, stand next to the rail, aim here, then jump throw. A very common pro pistol tactic on the Virgo CT side is to have nades here towards the back of heaven. And we see JT do that here with these two nades that is going to stop the plant. Heroic loose pistol and they're going to force by and rush ramp to A. Nerds is on T stairs where he's going to throw a fast left side smoke. Then he's gonna fall with the upper ramp flashes. Heroic will pair this up with a right side smoke on the fly. Duplexy have a three player A setup that is going to evolve Grim here, throwing a nade off the crane that is going to break open the T's ramp smoke and then three players are going to swing. Alicia is going to rush mid into ladder where he hides behind this wall for the doorway. He almost goes unchecked here as Kiksun has to hit an insane 180. A very interesting angle and position held by Zontix who is going to crouch behind this box. The reason why he's playing like this is because he could avoid the CT's flashes. Mir is going to hold the apartment push from inside window with his very tight angle while his teammate is watching mid for him so nobody walks up boiler and the CT's is not going to check this position. Nico is jiggle peeking B from CT and the time is coming down low so he's going to smoke off banana. Sets up for this flash here and the T's are executing. Nico is going to throw a flash off the wall, goes out with the flash and gets a nice 3k. Khan's going to flash top banana where he is going to throw the flash off this wall. The flash is going to land in front of the half wall so your teammates don't get blind. Half wall flash from Jane. Go ahead and position like this at this mark. Crouch, aim here at the wall, then remain crouch and left click throw. Right after the half wall flash, James going to set up with another top banana flash. Crouch, aim here, left click throw. The flash is going to set up his teammate for another frag. One more flash from James, who's standing at the end of the wall, aims here, jump throw. This allows his teammate to go ahead and peek towards B. Alistair throws two long smokes from the same position mid. This first one is a jump throw for library. The second one is a left and right click W jump throw for arch and you're going to wrap long to A. Norbert shows how to smoke top mid from the stair, position with that line, aim above this roof, then jump throw. Skulls throws a fast mid smoke, stand on top of the crates, aim here, then you're going to run forward and then jump throw. If you want to stop the defuse and you have a Molotov on banana, look for this door frame. Go ahead and cover it up with that left orange wall, put your crosser here, then run forward and jump throw. You could do this safely without exposing yourself and the Molotov will go ahead and cover and spread towards the default plant. Norper is playing behind the truck, jiggle peeking. When contact or an execute is going to come in, you're going to see that he is going to throw the smoke towards his right here and that is going to deny the T's from pushing up as they're going to be stuck behind the smoke. Twist smokes mid from sight, stand in the middle of the A, use the pin of the smoke and put it here, then go ahead and left and right click jump throw. If you have a Molotov and you are towards Coffin, the T's are executing, go ahead and throw it off the wall. The Molotov is going to land here at the entrance and it's going to even cover and spread towards Pool. Suhi has a self pop flash for short from Coldzera, crouch, aim here at the pillar, then left click throw, then go ahead and peek with the flash after. If you want to peek down Banana or your teammates are pushing down, go ahead and throw this flash off the wall and it's going to punch any T's that are pushing up. Top it in and retake nades from CT by exertion, stand with that part of the wall for the smoke, aim in the middle of the sign, left and right click jump throw, then for the Molotov, aim there, left and right click jump throw. I've been theory crafting about this bottom banana top stair smoke, which is a W jump throw. The smoke is going to land here and you would have a teammate go ahead and walk push through the smoke. 
that's going to allow you to backstab the T's defaulting towards Banana as their focus and attention is towards Car and the T's on stairs can't see you. Inferno B retakes smoke so if CT is smoked off go ahead and stand behind this wall. You're going to aim at this thing here at the top of it then go ahead and jump throughout. Fair warning the smoke does take a little bit longer to actually go ahead and land and bloom. Twist is going to hide behind this rock and he has a bait and switch setup with his teammate towards A who makes contact first which enables Twist to pop out and you see the two two players are not going to check and they can't spot Twist here and their attention here is towards camera and towards A which allows Twist to get these frags. Hunter with a very juicy nade from inside cave all you have to do is aim bottom right of this window left click throw you can see the nade does really good damage. Be careful throwing this nade because we see Hunter smoking off connector then he throws the same nade and the nade does go ahead and break the left side of the smoke. BXQ nade set from Monacy who is going to get stuck into this wall for the B flashes stand aim bottom left of that orange jump throw then for the temple smoke move along that wall aim between those two things there then go ahead and left click throw. These flashes are super strong because they're not going to blind your teammates as they enter in and they cover multiple positions on the B site. Yekinder with a canals flash from inside connector standing in the back corner you're going to aim at the tip of the stair right click jump throw. The flash does not work out as you'll see Rain is going to check the corner so he was playing anti-flash at the right timing and then Brokey's hiding behind the wall. I seen Twist with the mid door Molotov lineup when Bridge is smoked off. Go ahead and crouch at the table aim as shown without moving your mouse. Go ahead and go towards the front of the table jump on top of the table then jump throw. This Molotov will fully cover off mid door side and if the smoke wasn't up this is where you aim at the end of this tip. Nico is going to peek bridge and he's behind the door he's going to aim here with the self pop flash bounces off the flash however he delay peeks it because the mid door Molotov was still up. Mozzie is going to flash the mid door side for Nico stands there aim at this white brick then left click throw they time it when the Molotov is ending and Nico is then going to try to go aggressive but then gets punished. I can flash the doors if you want okay after. Flashing. Monacy shows a set lineup to Molotov Connector Cave when it is smoked out. Once you get that lineup without moving your mouse, tuck yourself inside that corner, then run forward and left click throw. Yekinder is going to throw a main smoke coming out of T spawn, stand in front of this wall, aim as shown, then jump throw. Amelia shows a set lineup in order to throw the A main smoke followed up with the A main cubby Molotov. Throw these two nades and then you have full A main control. VP smoke A main at the start, Monsi is going to ask next to the boost which you can see over the smoke which is going to lead to this entry. Team Liquid is retaking A from CT, Naf is going to throw these flashes that land over the wall with this jump throw, they're not going to blind his teammates and they're going to get Nico here. Twist stops the plant with this Molly from CT where I showed in the last video from Viridian who submitted this Molotov. If you want to share tricks and tips join my discord link is in the description below. If you want to safely smoke off E box from the platform stand in his back right corner. Aim as shown at this top left of the roof, then left and right click jump throw. Deep temple smoke from T mid, go ahead and stand in front of the sign. You're going to look at this bottom of the V here, then jump throw. The smoke is going to go through the rooftop here inside the gap of the temple which not many people knew that one existed. It's a cool smoke but teams will prefer to throw the one that lands on the outside. Cool little accidental run boost from the top player coming down from rugs and then onto his teammate going into A main. Insane mid run boost by Team 3D Max. Don't miss out on the best pro tricks and smash that subscribe button. Also appreciate if you like the video as always. I put in so much work for this type of content. It would mean so much to me. See you guys in the next one.